Hi everybody, good morning. Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Nana Khadija. If you like our videos, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below. We're here to read your comments and respond to you. And if you have your little adverts you want to show to the world, we've got your back. And so today I want to be talking about um the sugar daddy sugar mommy thing it's something that everybody is familiar with if you're not on one your friend is actually going for one and blah 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 blah. i am not saying that the sugar daddy thing or the sugar mommy thing is a good thing but the thing is young ladies of nowadays especially the students and people who are um and young ladies who are over uh, luxury and the uh, worldly material things get carried away i end up losing um the important aspect of your life just because they want to make it big and they want to make it uh, in a hurry well the ladies aspect is not something i am really more concerned about because it's okay for an older man to marry a younger girl but the thing is actually eating me up the sugar mommy thing as a young boy i think um, what you have to do is you want to grow up, go to school, do a, a handwork, or you work in the office, business, or whatever it is, just to make your parents happy, to accomplish their goals. I mean, if you're being a man in the house, like, even if you're not responsible for anything in your own house, I believe one day you will grow up to be a man and become a husband. And you have a wife and kids under you, which they are... Um, your responsibility to take care of but in a process whereby during you coming up um, you want to fasten the, the richness you want to fasten everything and you come along some woman who has ended her life who is done with her uh, marriage her accomplishment she has already accomplished what she wants to accomplish She's, she has been a good daughter to her parents a good mother to her kids and most of them have actually um handed out their children out in marriage and all they have to do is just sit down relax and spend the money their husband left or their husband is still in the making and i believe their life is already accomplished and they feel they can use what they have worked so hard for to get your attention as a guy who is growing up and your family already paid so much um, attention on you. They have so much, they have high hopes on you. I want my son to grow up and become this. I want my son to grow up and become this. And boom, your son is up, but he wants to do the fucking job. I'm sorry I call it the fucking job because there's nothing you're going to do to our sugar mommy. It's actually about the sex, the good sex, and she gives you money. She takes you out on a luxury trip. She buy you expensive phones. She make you feel like you're the only boy or the only guy in the world. Well, by doing that, she's actually trying to bring you backward. That's not bringing you forward. Because let's say, assuming at first you are a hardworking boy, you work, you have a little business, and you go do it, you get some money, and and all of a sudden you meet somebody who is who is looking for who to spend the money with who is ready to go on a luxury trip for you with you i mean you will just want to just give up your whole life just to be with that woman she gives you so much money but in return she takes control over you she takes control over what you are doing she takes control over where you're going she monitor you on the friends you're keeping she keep you restricted just to herself just because of some tiny chickeny money she's giving you or a, a bigger phone she bought for you which you think that that is the end of the world why won't you want to try and make the same effort and get the same amount of money to take care of your parents your siblings your wife your kids and these guys they end up not being anything good anything reasonable with their life because what they already used to the fact that i have somebody who always give me this i have somebody who always give me this why should i go and start 
working so hard to get that money so in the process whereby at some certain end of course it's not gonna last forever she finds someone who is better than you and she dumps you and that is how you become so miserable you cannot even go back to the fact that you were a good person you were a hard-working person at the beginning of everything why because your mind is cool and your your mind is is not ready to accept the fact that you need to work hard again to get whatever you have lost in the past i'm not saying the fact that you're dating a sugar mommy is a wrong thing but all i'm trying to bring out to your enlight i'm trying to enlighten you about is at the end of the day you will be at the losing end you're not being anything to your parent you're not being any good to your parent of course but the thing is it's all about the love routine. No sugar mommy will go and get buy a house for you. She can only take you to a trip. And that's because she's taking you because she wants you to keep her company there. She gives you money. Yes, yeah, she gives you money. You give to your parents. But is that what you want? Wouldn't you want to be a rich man in the future? Wouldn't you want to get married? How much do you think a sugar mommy can give to you that will make you the whole of your life perfect? At the end of it, it's not everything that matters. Whatever matters is that at the end of it, she might just give you some sickness. And you might just end up with health issues. Because you allowed yourself to be, to be, you allow your heart to melt down because of longer truth. Because you want to impress your fellow friends. You just refuse to concentrate on school anymore. You think you have it all. I mean, if that woman can leave her husband who has given her all this luxury, just come and spend some time with you and still give you that same money, don't you think she's going to leave you for somebody better than you? And the thing with sugar mommy is you're not going to stay with her forever. You are not going to stay with her forever. There's no way she's going to marry you. She already have kids. She already have grandparents. You're the hidden one. She doesn't even want her family to see you. You don't even have the right to go to her house. You don't have the right to call her whenever you want to talk to her. She calls you because you're not going to end up calling her at the wrong time while she's with her family. So I just want to give you a little advice. It's not, it's not a button to see a wolf and you want to chop the maga. It's okay to chop the maga. But don't, 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 don't loosen yourself while trying to chop the maga. Don't lose yourself because you're trying to get an iPhone 13 Pro Max, 14 Pro Max, or whatever it's called. Don't lose yourself. Don't lose your sanity. Don't lose your respect. There's no respect in that aspect. So whatever you're going to do, just do it. No matter how small, if you earn it yourself, you will respect yourself. And the people around you will respect you. They, 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 they don't want to wake up one day and realize, oh, he, the money he has been spending was just given to him by a woman. You are a sex worker. I'm, I'm sorry to say you, you are a shower. That's what I can just call you. Just like we have the female prostitute. You are the same. You, pay, you get paid for sex. And that's how you lose your, your sanity. You, you lose your va your value because all that money she is giving to you is because you're having sex with her. The, 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 the day you are not going to have the, uh, the, the, the same strength to do what she likes, I bet you she's going to show you out of the house and get somebody that's stronger than you. And ladies, I'm not actually saying that I'm encouraging you guys to go for the sugar that eating just because I said an old man can get married to a younger girl even in that aspect don't lose yourself trying because of money don't lose yourself it's okay love is real and sometimes you love your boyfriend but you're so carried away with the old man because he gives you the world meetings and at the end of it maybe you get married to him his his, his grown-up kids won't let you rest and everything is going to be vanity upon vanity. You're always going to be tagged as a woman who married their father because of money. You're always going to be tagged as a woman who fell in love with an old man 
because of money to the whole world that is what you are even if the love is genuine so i'm not saying that money is not good but money is not really everything money cannot buy happiness argue with yourself but money cannot buy happiness there are some certain things that the rich people are looking for and they cannot have it there's this peace of mind you have when you don't have so much poverty is not good so in whatever you want to do in what aspect you want to get your money make sure it's peaceful make sure it's pure because after making that money your peace your sleep your peace your, your life is at risk so don't go and follow the word things. it doesn't last forever it's always a good thing to want to have more but make sure you don't lose yourself trying to get so much more make sure you don't lose yourself trying to get a big tiny things that will not take you forever don't drop out of school because you found some old man who is ready to spend a million dollars on you. Don't leave the people you love just because you have somebody who is willing to buy you a phone that costs so much. There's so much to life than all those material things. It's just an advice. If you have your company, you can actually drop it in the comment section. I still remain your favorite host, Nana Khadija. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share and comment we're always here to respond to your comments and whatever you have to say and in case you've got an advert you need a little business to show to the world we've got your back thank you very much for staying with us have a lovely day